Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Snake Diet Larry's Powerlifting Channel. I've got three message videos coming up that I will title Message 1, 2, and 3 that I'm going to post after I post this. Uh, this is for the coach. This is for the coach, John Allen Reese, and anybody else watching. Um, but mainly for the coach, this is day one of, uh, of three this week training for another meet in eight weeks and first thing I want to say is that the uh, pause squatting uh, was 185 on my back before I go into the rest of the squats is magic it gets it opens my hips up I'm never taking them away the pause squatting really really helps me get to depth uh, when it matters without any uh, excessive stretching of the hip muscles, it opens everything up really nicely. So I'm going to keep that in. Um, battery went out at the beginning of the bench press session. And I'm kind of developing this trend where uh, once I start bench pressing, I just focus so ferociously that I forget to look at the camera and again I was butthead and didn't notice that my battery was only one quarter charged that's due to my not being organized in that fashion so I don't have any bench footage today the 225 for three reps was my top set on the bench and that came off very very easily so um, you know, I know that it is absolutely critical you get all the bench footage, Coach. I don't have any bench footage because when I moved over to the deadlift, uh, I also realized <laughs> it wasn't until um, my uh, my deadlift of four, 405 pounds that the freaking battery wasn't working. So I don't know if that's a good thing, a bad thing, but... Uh, it's definitely a bad thing for, for you because you don't get to see the training footage that you need. So I, I will tighten up on that and um, make sure that all my uh, equipment is in order because that's not excusable. You, you, you're coaching me, you need to see all that footage. So I will make those corrections on that so it doesn't happen again. However, the, uh, the top set here of 325 for three came off very, very nicely. And the uh, um, the two hundred and I believe it's eighty or three sets of, or, or two sets of eight or three sets of eight came off very very nicely as well. I paused all those. Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Wait a minute. I'm, I don't know if I paused all them, but either way, it was it was fairly light work. I'm weighing about two sixty seven here. Five pounds over when uh, five pounds overweight when I was um, when I was in the last meet and the weight's coming down. The goal is to finish this training cycle at a weight at a body weight of two hundred and forty five pounds uh, or two hundred and forty pounds and have a good little cushion to uh, to get myself to two hundred and forty five pounds exactly for the meet and beat my last meets numbers or at the very minimum match every single lift so uh, the ultimate goal is at a body weight of 245 pounds to squat a minimum of 420 pounds to bench a minimum of 265 pounds and to deadlift a minimum of 525 pounds that's why I left a lot in the tank, because I know that when you lose weight, and when you lose a big chunk of weight, like 25 pounds, you are in danger of losing strength if your diet and training are not absolutely on point. So what that means for me is that uh, lots of pause squatting, lots of pauses on those benches, and those deadlifts, when I fire off from the floor, 
I've got to pull the mother effing hell out of that bar because it is shown through uh, in real life and, and there's studies on it. And I'm not going to go into the studies because that's a big, long, big, long endeavor, a big, huge scientific uh, talk about uh, all kinds of things that I don't quite understand. But I know that when you train and, for instance, take a look at this squat, this first rep here, I am driving out of that hole as hard as I can freaking possibly do it. Every single rep, I am trying to jump through the roof. Literally trying to jump through the roof. If you watch the barbell on my back, I'm trying to make it so it pops off my back. Not at just the very end of the squat. The way you try to get that barbell to pop off your back, it's right from there, right from the bottom of the hole, you drive with everything you freaking possibly have. This powerlifting train is not about going soft on any rep. You've got to push like it's your maximum rep. Every single rep. I don't care what rep it is, where it is in the training. This is 405, but I'm trying to pull that like it weighs 700 pounds. Here's my top set. 425 for three. And trust me, I'm beat up. But guess what? That only moves slow because I've been putting out on the previous sets. Okay? On meat day, that 425 moves like, like it's 135 pounds because I don't have, you know, all the other training that I was doing, uh, you know, working up to that 425. You've got to pull that barbell like you're like you know like some like some like a loved one of yours is going to take a bullet to the head <laughs> if if uh, if, the, if the person holding them hostage doesn't detect that you are that you are putting out with everything you got you got to step up to that barbell get that belly full of air get your grip right pump them hammies Get them ready to move, and you got to pull, man. Pull it. That's it. I'm trying to pull so hard that, that I fall backwards. I mean, I'm, you know, that's what it takes, guys. So anyway, thank you for tuning into this training session, and I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Bye.